Hi guys, um, this week I'm feeling a little sorry for myself. I had um, oral surgery this week, so I really wanted to create a spread that was really simple. Um, so my face is still a little bit sore, but that's okay. So I might sound a little slurry when I'm talking through my video, which is totally okay. And I just also wanted to point out that because I was feeling a little sorry for myself, I decided that you know what, let's try and keep it as simple as possible. So for my November plan with me, I'm not using any rulers, I'm not using anything fancy, I'm just using a couple of highlighters and a pen. And I've created a really simple go-to minimal spread that hopefully you will enjoy as well. And I would love to see you use it. Um, if you could tag us on Instagram at Mayana Creative or The Art of Bujo, that would be helpful. All the details at the bottom of the uh, comments, which is always helpful as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> I shouldn't smile too much. Um, but we're going to be going through this really simple spread with you today. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, keeping our tools today simple, stencil, pen, highlighters. Let's go. All right, the first thing you're going to see me drawing here is just my basic calendar spread. And I'm going to have it up at the front of my monthly. And I'm going to kind of have this seven days. And I'm honestly just freehanding it. The only thing I've measured up are the days. And I just wanted a really simple monthly calendar that you could do at any point in time and something really minimal as well. So you can see I'm just freehanding it, making it really simple, and then writing Monday through to Saturday and Sunday over the top. I'm adding November in some hand lettering and obviously the little dates of the month. Originally when I did this I actually messed it up the first time and I started on Saturday So I just redrew it real quick. It wasn't a big deal. You'll you could probably see it on the other page just um, ghosting through there um, What I wanted to do this month is just add a couple of goals And I also wanted to add some events in again not using a ruler just using my free hand and I'm going to kind of embellish it a little bit with a highlighter just to make it look a little bit more juji than black and white. All right, let's add the things that are happening in this month. We don't have too much going on quite yet because we're still in the early stages of October, but really want to make sure that I am in an advance. So adding all of those key um, events for the month. Again, keeping with that really simple basic um, measuring spread, this time we're just going to use the days of the week and we are going to create a little calendar on the side. Let's get started. Right, now that we've created our little calendar I'm going to highlight which week it is and I'm also going to add a priorities box again I'm just freehanding it I'm not using a ruler for this and just creating the priorities box with the highlighter to make it seem a little bit more structured I'm just going to add some lines in to make sure that I know where I'm writing my notes All right, this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the highlighters and I'm gonna kind of create a little highlighter rainbow down at the bottom. I thought, you know what, it's so simple at the moment. Let's try and make it a little bit more bougie and zhuzh it up a little bit with some highlighters. So you can see here, we're using them down the bottom just to create a little bit of additional um, excitement and then adding a little sticker to tell me that I got this this month. I'm gonna add boxes. Again, this time not using a ruler, just freehanding it. And I think all all up, I think the entire spread for the month took me maybe oh, probably about 25 minutes to do the whole thing, excluding the speed up for this particular video. I'm just using hand lettering to put in the days of the week and adding in Thursday 
Friday, Saturday and Sunday in the last bit. I'm going to add another little rainbow underneath those boxes just to balance it out and I'm going to make that my notes section. That way we've got something a little bit pretty on the page as well, but really simple. You can see that I'm not sticking to any lines and I'm not sticking to any structure for this at all. Alright, um, on to our next spread. This time we're using some washi tape with days of the week on. I decided to stick with black and I'm really honestly going to keep this as simple as possible. I'm just sticking down Monday through to Friday and I'm going to add a little note section as well. Alright, now that we're done, I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit more structured with some lines and I'm just going to use my highlighter to create kind of the same colorway that I've been using on the other pages just to kind of create a little bit of depth and to give it a bit of uh, color on the page. Alright, and down to my very last spread of the month. This time I'm going to use my highlighters as the guide for what I want to do. And I'm going to put in Monday through to Sunday and then kind of draw a border around them. Alright, creating some structure with some straight lines and highlighting those days of the weeks, adding a couple of the dates and then making a notes page on the other side again with the highlighters. I'm going to follow through the theme of kind of creating a border around the letters and a little bit of structure with a line. Again, you can see I'm just freehanding it and now we're done for November. All right, as you can see for the flip through for our whole month, it's really straightforward and there isn't anything amazing about this spread. It's really simple to do and I look forward to seeing how you use this in your notebook. Um, please hit the subscribe button below and come hunting for us on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. See you next time.